To start, let's get warmed up. Our feet are about shoulder width apart. We're going to look straight ahead. We're going to start with some squats today. So inhale, coming down. Exhale, up, squeeze the arms back. Breathe in and out. Nice and easy. Feet are shoulder width or slightly wider. Exhale, coming up. Keep that chest lifted and we're looking straight ahead. couple more. Want to start off nice and easy, just getting all the joints warm, loosening up, reaching across now. Big stretch. And it should feel a nice stretch across the back every time we reach across with that far. And reaching up and over. here let's go elbow to knee exhale as you pull it in and all we're doing with your warm-up is trying to loosen up the joints get the muscles warm start getting the blood flowing a little bit and thank you so much for everybody who's here with me I really appreciate it back to our squats one more time through Inhale down, exhale up. Keeping it nice and smooth and controlled. You don't necessarily have to go as fast as me. You can go a little slower if need be. Nice, strong, controlled movements. Breathe through. Now to our reach, stretch it across. Keep it up, big reach. And reach up, nice big stretch every time. A few more, should be starting to feel a little bit warm by now. One more warm up exercise, elbow to knee. Just a little bit longer. And last four, two, and one. Okay, quick sip of water again. I'm gonna grab my timer. If you are going to do the workout on your own, I will post uh, uh, the photo or the information again below uh, the workout for you. Um, if you don't have a timer, you can definitely uh, download an interval timing app very easily. I love my Gym Boss timer. I know they have an app too, so you could definitely use that if you like. So, get it going. Our first circuit, we've got plank on the ball, back extension, and then a push-up with a knee tuck. So, if you don't have a ball, you're just going to take your plank down to the floor. Basically take everything down to the floor if you do not have the ball. So, beginners, you're going to plank from your knees. You're a little more advanced. We're going to pop right up to the toes. So, we'll start with our beginner options on this first round and then we'll push it a little more as we go through. Ready, round one, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We've got three exercises and four rounds today. So. Plank hold on the ball. This is your beginner option. We want to press the forearms in. We want to keep the core nice and strong. We also want the neck to be nice and neutral. If this is easy, pop up, hold it here. Keep holding. If you need to take breaks and drop back down to the knees and then pop back up, that is totally allowed. If you can hold it nice and strong up here the whole time, even better. Tighten up the legs, tighten up the core, press down into the ball. Keep holding. If you ever have any back pain, you usually need to lift up a little bit higher to alleviate that. Okay, 10 seconds 
slowly rest. We're pulling the ball in. We're going to take the feet wide. Come into a back extension. So we're just lifting just enough to get into a nice neutral spine position. Overextending is not recommended. We just want to be nice and straight and strong. If this is enough for you, you can stay here. If it feels like a little bit too much, I would encourage you to drop and lift. Drop and lift. Hold it here if you can. Keep those legs tight. Arms can be in front or even back here. Focus on that neutral spine, neutral neck. Keep breathing through. All right, good. Got one done. Next move, we're going to back it up a little bit so we have room to move forward. We're going into our push-up and knee tuck, walking it over the ball. The further out you go, the harder it is. So as a beginner, I would suggest just starting with your push-up right here. Just coming from the waist, make sure that those elbows point back. Again, keeping that core strong. If you can, we want to add the knee tuck in so it's push-up, knee tuck, push-up. Knee tuck. You want to make it harder? Take another step. Push up. Knee tuck. All the way through. Keep going. Exhale as you press. Elbows point back on your push up. Good. And we're walking it back with control. Coming back into our plank number two. So, choose your option. Knees for beginner, or pop it up if you're a little more advanced. If it still feels easy and you want more, we're pressing it out and in. Keeping the core strong, legs tight. We want to keep the neck neutral. Press the forearms down into the ball. At any point, if you feel it in your back, you can either drop to the knees to make it easier, or lift those hips up a little bit higher. A lot of times the back pain comes when they're too low. All right, pull the ball in. Ready for a back extension. Ball is nice and close, stomach on the ball, extend the legs. Now we're gonna lift it up here. This time, let's add a reach and retract with the arms. We're working into that upper back, but we're still maintaining a neutral spine. Inhale as you reach, exhale as you pull. Keep it going. Nice and smooth, strong legs. All the way through the 40 seconds. Good work. Okay, push up and knee tuck coming up now. I'm gonna try to get a little bit further out this time. So I'm gonna pull the ball into the legs, walk it over this way, and same thing. Push up, knee tuck. Push up, knee tuck. As you push up, try to keep your shoulders in line with the hands and the fingertips. Elbows point back, nice and smooth. Breathe through. Okay, walking it back now. Ready for our third round. Come down, elbows on the ball. Pop it up. This one, let's focus on keeping it nice and strong. Tight plank, tight core. Breathing through as we hold that plank. Push down into the ball. Legs are strong, core is strong. Maintain this position. Keep it going. Good work. Okay, bring it forward. 
back extension is next. Straighten those legs. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. You'll notice I'm only lifting up to the neutral spine position. We're not overextending. Just to neutral. Nice and tight. Exhale, lift. Keep it strong. If you don't have a ball, this could be done on the floor. Very similar to a Superman lift. Almost there. Good. Okay. Move it in. Push up and knee tuck. And I'm going to stand up just as my limited space here. So pull it in close. Come on over. Right in. Push up. Knee tuck. Smooth movements. Try for full range of motion. If it gets too hard, take a step back with your hands. So do you move your thighs onto the ball if you need to. Breathe through. Keep it up. Bringing it back. We've got one more round. So this last round, I'm just going to demonstrate what it looks like if you don't have a ball. If you don't have a ball, bring it down to plank right here. Holding it strong. Shoulders right over top of the elbows, legs are tight, neck is neutral. If you have a ball, I want you to keep that ball. This is for those of you who don't. Nice and strong still, and keep breathing. Forearms down into the ground. All right, little rest. So again, if you have the ball, we're going to the back extension on the ball. If you don't, we're just gonna do it on the floor, right here. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Same movement, except when we don't have the ball, I want you to try to lift those legs at the same time. Lift and lower, nice and easy. Breathe through. We're on our last round of this circuit. We got two more to go after this. All right. So, next move. If you don't have the ball, we're going to demonstrate without. So easier for your push-up is going to be from your knees, right here. You're going to pop it up, step in, step out. If you can, push up, jump, and jump. If you have the ball, you're sticking with the same options we did in the first three rounds. This is your option without the ball. Nice and strong. Full range on the push-up. Drop to the knees if you need to. Good. Okay. Circuit one done. Grab some water. Hope you're still with me. We're going to move on to our second circuit here. Pardon me. Quick sip of water. Always make sure you're drinking lots of water here. Next ones, we're going to come down onto our back, onto the mat for some ham curls, a leg press and twist, and our dead bugs. Oh, oh, I'm skipping ahead. Sorry, we're not coming to the floor yet. We are going to our wall squats and our wood chops. So, if you don't have a ball, these movements are just done without the ball. If you have this ball, 
We're going to put it into the small of the back. Feet are about shoulder width apart, and then just walk them out a little ways away so that when we squat down, we can come right to 90 degrees. Okay? Again, three exercises, four rounds through. Getting ready, drop it down. Easier, we're going to continue the movement. If that feels way too easy for you, I want you to hang out down here and stay low. Try to sit right at the 90 degrees. Hold it nice and strong. Chest is up. We're looking straight ahead. The benefit of using this ball is it teaches you how to keep your chest up. It also helps strengthen right into these quads. So keep it nice and strong. Add the movement if you need. We've got eight more seconds to go. Good. Right up. Ten seconds to rest. Now we're going into wood chops. You have seen me do these, I believe, uh, possibly with a dumbbell or maybe even body weight. We're going on a nice diagonal line from the top to the bottom. Inhale up, exhale down. What we're trying to do is pivot on that toe, drop the knee as you come down so chest stays up and you're looking straight ahead of you the whole time. At no point should you look at the floor. If you have any knee issues, you're going to reduce your range of movement and just take the squat out. If you can, though, all the way down. All the way down. Good. Good work. Okay. Getting ready on the other side. Ten seconds to rest. Here we go. Reach it up. And down. Inhale up. Pivot to drop the knee. Pivot to drop the knee. Whew. Breathe through. Keeping it smooth and controlled. Straight arms. Good. Keep it going. A nice full range. Okay, coming back to our wall squats with the ball for assistance. Again, feet are about shoulder width. Lean back against the ball. We're going to come down nice and low. Make sure your feet are far enough out that your knees are directly over top of them as you squat down. So movement is going to be easier, or just hold. Try not to put your hands on your legs. They can rest there, but don't squeeze. Hands can be down to the side, or even up behind your head if you need somewhere to place them. We're keeping that neck neutral again and hold it here. Breathe through. Good. Keep it strong, and then all the way up. Ready for wood chops. Round two of four. Here we go. Inhale up, exhale, slice through. If this is easy, you could add some weight to this movement. Or if you don't have the ball, you can just do it with your body weight, keeping those arms straight. Feel free to go at your own pace. There's no required number of reps. Just keep moving. Inhale up, exhale down. All right, 10 seconds rest. Then we're gonna come over to the other side. Ready, let's go. Inhale up, exhale down. Breathing through. Keep it smooth, pivot on the back foot to get low. Or take that squat right out if you have any issues with the knees. Inhale up, exhale down. Smooth and controlled. Keep it going. All right, back.
back to our squat. Let's see if we can't get a little more advanced on this round. So starting off the same way, ball is in the small at the back. Bringing it down, step it out, drop it low. If you can, I want you to try to kick out one leg and the other. This is easier to do if you move your feet in a little bit closer to each other before you try to kick out. Keep it going, nice and strong. Try to stay low and always go back to our first options if you prefer. And right up, ready for our wood chops. Nice wide stance, keep the arms straight, breathe through. Inhale to the top, exhale, bringing it down. Smooth movements, keep the chest up, we're looking straight ahead. Good, nice and smooth, control the twist. This is a great core move, shoulder move, working the legs, a little rest now. Total body, this wood chops. Getting ready on the other side. Nice, strong core. Inhale up, exhale, slice through. Keep it up. Nice and strong. Make it as big as you can, or as small as you need to, but keep moving. Nice pivot to get low. All right, one more round. Coming back into the wall. We'll try to add in some calf raises just this time, just for a little more variation. So walk the feet out a little bit, drop it low, we're going to lift up to the toes. You're going to want to walk the feet in a little bit closer. Lift up and down, or you can do singles, especially if you feel like you're sliding, because it's kind of what it feels like for me on my mat right now. We're going to do singles. <laughs> Look straight ahead, keep it up. This is our last round for this circuit. Stay strong. All right, bring it up. Next, wood chops one more time each side. Wide stance. Inhale, up, exhale, slice through. With or without the ball, it's up to you. Arms are straight. Full range if you can. Reduce it if you need to. You can also slow down if you need. Keep the core strong. Eyes are forward. Moving through. Good. Keep it going. seconds to rest. We got one more set of wood chops on the other side. Thank you for everybody who's been joining me today. I really appreciate you. Here we got one more set of wood chops. Inhale up, exhale down. Try to lock out those arms. Keep moving. Nice and smooth. All right, 
good work. That was our four rounds. We're going to take a little break now. Now, <laughs> like I said at the last break, we are going to take it down to the floor. So if you need a quick sip of water, go ahead and grab your water. We have one more circuit to get through in today's workout. So, ham curls, a leg press with a twist, and then our dead bugs. Legs and core coming right down onto your mat. Stick around after we're done this circuit. We're going to do a little bit of a stretch, and I've got a challenge move for you to try as well. So, coming down. Feet are up on top of the ball. Um, you don't want to be too far away. It's going to make the ball either pop out from under you or make it just that much harder. We want your back of your calves on the ball. Okay, so we're going to lift up, pull that ball in. This one can be quite intense. Try to keep it smooth, keep the hips lifted. If you feel like it's too much at any point, take a break, lower the hips, and then come back in. Keep it strong. Working into the hamstrings and the glutes. Also strengthening your lower back. You want to keep the head and neck down and relaxed. Breathe through, as always. Keep it going. Good, okay, right down onto our back. Next one, we're gonna grab the ball between our feet. If you like, you can bring your hands underneath your hips for a little bit of support here. That will help to make it easier. We're gonna press the legs straight out, twist one way and the other. It's easier if you stay up higher. You're gonna feel those inner thighs working. Twist, twist, or bring it down a little lower. Twist from here. This way, we're gonna get the core involved a little bit more. Just make sure that that low back stays down on the mat at all times. Whew. Legs are strong. Bend, press, and twist. Twist. Whew. Twist, twist. Good. Next, dead bugs. Place the ball on your knees. Again, that low back stays down. That's where I want your focus to stay. Is by pressing that low back into the ground the whole time. We're going to open up opposite arm and leg and then switch, keeping the ball right where it is, focused on gluing that low back into the floor. Stretch it out and in. Whew, nice and strong. Smooth and controlled. Keep your core engaged. You can do this without the ball as well. And I'll give a couple options for the other exercises without the ball on the next round here. Good. Okay. Round two. If you do not have the ball, all you're going to do is a bridge. Lifting the hips up, off the floor, and lower. Lift and lower. Level two if you don't have a ball would be to go into a walkout and back in. And back in. The further you go, the harder it is. However, if you have that ball, or pull in, press away. If you want to make it harder, lift the hips higher. Pull in, press away. Exhale as you pull in. Keep it going. Right into the hamstrings and the glutes. All right, take it down. Without the ball for a leg press and twist, that low back still stays down. It's still easier to press straight up. To press, twist, twist. Bend, press, twist, twist. Lower harder. Bend, press, twist, twist. Low back is still down. If we have the ball though, same as the last one, bend, press, twist, and twist. A lot more inner thighs here. If you feel, find this one hard on the knees, get rid of the ball. It will make it easier. 
Thanks for sticking with me. We're working through our last circuit here now. All right, ready for dead bugs. Again, without the ball, it'll look like this. Knees are up, arms are up. We're gonna extend opposite arm and leg. Opposite arm and leg, focused on keeping the low back glued to the ground. If you have that ball, hold it in place. Low back down, core strong. Breathe through. Good. All right. Round three. We've got two more rounds to go. And then I got a surprise move for you, or challenge move for you. And lifting up, curl in, press away. Nice and smooth and controlled. We can get the hips up higher to make it harder. Or take breaks as needed if you're feeling like it's too much. Exhale, pull in. Head and neck are as relaxed as you can. Keep it going. Almost there, we've got five seconds. Thank you again, everybody who's joined me today. All right, take it down. Leg press and twist coming up here next. Ball between your feet, hands can be under the hips for support. Head and neck, stay down. Press, twist, twist. The lower you go, the harder it is. If you're strong enough in your core, get rid of those hands. Just bring them to the side. If you need to make it easier, press higher. Keep it low if you can. Nice and smooth. The more you squeeze the ball, the more you're going to work your inner thighs. All right, good work. Ready for our dead bugs now, placing the ball on your knees. We're gonna lift those knees, hold the ball in place, and open it up, opposite arm and leg. Glue the low back to your mat. Breathe through. Inhale as you open. Exhale, pulling it in. Keeping it smooth. Nice full extensions. We are almost through this workout. We've got one more round after this. Remember to tag your workout buddies. Working out is more fun with a friend. Keep it going. All right, one more round. Back to ham curls. Feet are up on the ball. Head and neck relaxed. Lift the hips up. Here we go, lift, pull, and press. Nice and smooth. Nice job for everybody who's worked all the way through this. Keep it going. Smooth and controlled. Strong core, strong legs. Almost there. And down. Leg press and twist one more time. Head and neck stay down. Ball between your feet or kind of between your ankles. Hands can be under if you need it. Bend, press, twist, twist. If the ball is giving you trouble, get rid of the ball. Keep it going. Working right through. This is our last round of this circuit. We've got one more exercise after this one. And then your challenge. 
for those of you who are up for it. All right, good work. Dead bugs, one more time. Ball comes onto the knees. Lift up the feet, hold the ball in place. Inhale, open. Low back is down. Keep it strong. Smooth and controlled. Working through. Again, option to get rid of the ball at any point if you need to. Otherwise, keep going. Good work. That's it. Coming up. All right, quick sip of water now. And we'll go into our challenge move. And then some stretches for today. All right, so our challenge move is going to be balancing up on the ball, on our knees. Lots of core involved. Um, I highly recommend having a clear area around you or maybe even having somebody to help you a little bit or be close to a wall if you need to. Well, my challenge for you today is to come onto the ball with your knees. I'm going to bring your weight forward. Find the balance. Woo. <laughs> uh oh. Better try again. <laughs> so bring your weight forward on the ball. Find the balance here. Whoa. <laughs> if I can even do it for you guys today. All right, almost there. Okay, then up. Keep that core strong. And just try to maintain. This position. <laughs> My ball's a little squishy. This is challenging today. All right. So try that one out if you can. We're going to get the ball off to the side. Go into some nice stretches and start with a couple of nice deep breaths. Breathing in. Arms right up. Exhale. Take the arms down. Two more. Breathing in. Exhale down. One more, breathe again. This time we're gonna fold right in forward fold and relax the whole upper body. Don't worry if you can't reach the floor. We're just trying to get a nice release in that low back, stretching out the back of the legs. Take your feet a little bit wider. Walk to one side. If you can't reach the floor, you can hold your leg. If you can reach the floor, Press down and pull away to get a nice lat stretch here. Slowly walking to the other side now. Same thing, you can hold the leg or reach for the floor. Always breathing through our stretches. Take it back to the center, heel toe, those feet in or just walk them in a little bit at a time and we're going to roll it up. Chin stays tucked until we get to the top. All right, we're here. Taking a nice step forward. Drop that back knee slightly and we're gonna open up the arms, pull the shoulders down and get those hands wide for a nice stretch in the chest and the shoulders. Breathing through your stretches. Straighten both legs. Come forward for a little bit more hamstring stretch. Mainly in this front leg here. We want to keep both legs straight. Good. Then up. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Tuck the hips under. Clasp your hands behind. Release the arms. Straighten the legs. Leaning forward. Nice hamstring stretch here. All right, take it up. Quads and hips to finish this off. Grab one foot. If you need to hold a wall for balance, that is always an option. Try to squeeze the knees together and press your hips forward slightly. 
from there, if you can keep the balance, keep the balance, foot comes around to the front, sit down, figure four, and up, other side, quads, I like this one to pull the shoulder back as well and get a little more stretch in that shoulder. Good. Keep balance if you can. Foot around to the front. Sit it down. Figure four. All right. Coming up to the top. Awesome job today. Thank you so much, everybody who stuck around and did this workout with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week, we are going to do a yoga-inspired flow. Probably a little bit of balance in there. Um, if you ever have any other suggestions of workouts that you would like um, us to do on Wednesdays, please uh, send them my way and hopefully we can fit it all in for you. I hope you have the most amazing evening and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.